Hi Floss Tube. I'm Jennifer the Calculated Stitcher. Welcome to my channel. Um, I am filming in the room that I've filmed in the last few times. It's my paper crafting room, but now this summer, um, as every summer before, my daughter comes home from college and uh, works locally. And so she stays here, of course. And this has become her room. So you'll see some changes. I did at least take all the clothes that were piled on the bed and I just threw them on the floor because you can't even walk through here right now. So it's fine. It's, you know, a 22 year old girl. Anyway, so um, since we last uh, saw each other, I've had some uh, things happen in our life. My son, thank you so much for wishing, giving him your um, good luck wishes and everything. Uh, he was actually playing in a basketball game. We do a staff versus seniors, and I actually played. It was just pretty sad, but um, when he was playing, he came down wrong on his knee, and he completely tore his ACL away from the bone, and he has um, tears on both sides of his meniscus, I think they said is what they called it, and so they're, he's going to have to undergo surgery week after next. The swelling was still too bad and they didn't want to do it last week and so um, they wanted to do it this week but he has graduation on Saturday the 22nd and he wouldn't have been able to make it so um, he had to miss senior trip unfortunately so he missed the last week the whole week his uh, his class went to the beach and deep sea fishing and all sorts of things but and um, they moved to surgery I forgot where I was going with this but they moved to surgery to the 27th it was going to be on the Monday after graduation which was the 24th so I will have him in there doing that so it's just been really crazy um, I had a, a video um, recorded where I decorated the May, my May journal, and then all this happened, and it's just been lots of trips to doctors, MRIs, and stuff, so it's just, so I'm sorry I didn't get that posted, but I promise I will have a video of me decorating. I figured it's too late now to show you me uh, uh, getting my, sorry, the chickens just were running by real fast. I don't know what they were doing. Um, I, I will have a video of me um, doing the June portion of my cross stitch journal if you're interested so um, hopefully I will do that week after next so um, just before his surgery I'll get that in and other than that I think that's it he's really in oh well anyway so he's not going to be able to um, play in the state tournament so he has a very positive attitude and um, he always looks on the bright side. So he's taking it really well. I, I'm just really impressed. So anyway, if you'll keep him in your thoughts and prayers, um, I would appreciate it. So um, other than that, I think everything is about the same here. Last week of school, next week, very excited. <laughs> Lots to do, finals, all of that kind of stuff. So kids getting in the, their projects completed and um, then we're going to start our summer and the week after that I'm very excited because my oh, my daughter's dog my um, one of my viewers who is like my number one Etsy supporter she and I are going to meet up at the Tin Smith's wife um, I need to call her because he's trying to jump off the bed it's super tall um, I'm, she lives in Pennsylvania and she's coming in. They have a place, I think, in Fredericksburg, or they come to visit at least. And so she's the one that told me about the Tin Smith's wife. So I'm just so excited. I'm going to get to meet her. We had planned on the 27th, but I just found out that his surgery got moved. So I need, I'm going to uh, email or call her and we'll change that up. So if you live near the Tin Smith's wife, you know you can come see us. Hopefully we're going to get to go on the 26th. I'm going to try to do it the day before his surgery. So anyway, okay. It seems like there was something else I was going to tell you. Not really sure, but okay. Oh, I will show you. I was going to show you. Oh, here they are. Um, we got my son's graduation invitations. I'm very excited. Isn't that cute? He has his tennis racket. 
course, this was before he hurt his knee when we had the pictures taken. And then here's the back. This is our place. All of this was taken at our place. And this is his dog. That's Sadie. Oh. Anyway, just super cute. He's such a good kid. Such a good, good, good kid. Okay, so let's get on to whips. So my whips that I had, um, I started the month out because I think May 1st was my last floss tube. Oh, I didn't even say. Today is, I don't even know. Hold on. Today is May 15th. Oh, look at that. It's been exactly two weeks. Hey, I'm doing good, even with all this going on. Um, I worked for uh, just the last um, three days, three or four days. I've worked on Hannah Hetherington, which was my focus piece in um, January, I'm pretty sure. I'm sorry the light's not very good in here right now. It's a really overcast day, but I wanted to get this filmed because my daughter is not here. She's at work, so I'm trying to get this done before she gets back because she gets in here and I won't be able to get in here. So I am using the called for dinky dyes. Oh, they're so pretty and they're so soft. They're just so soft. And I'm using, let me look at my little tag. I am using 40 count Confederate gray. And this is how much I have finished so far. Since the last time I saw you, I finished this motif right here, and I did the 16 for her age, and then this little teapot looking thing, and then I finished all of this down here. That's what I've done since I last saw you. I'm loving this. I think it's just so pretty, and that's as big as it is, so that's not going to be too bad. I'm very excited. I'm going to put it away though because my um one of my goals for this month is to finish the border around uh, one of the samplers the sampler that I started that my son picked out for his good luck piece that we talked about last time that's okay it's all good everything's going to be fine I said one day you'll look back on this and laugh you know so, oh, I had a um, viewer who is new to cross stitch. She asked me about what kind of hoop I use because I do use a hoop. And the reason I, I've tried the Q snaps, I've tried stitching in hand, and I'm okay with stitching in hand. I just can't do the sewing method because I'm sure I'm doing it wrong, but it seems to pull and my X's don't look uniform. So I found that the best way for me to maintain my um, crosses where they, you know, one's not kind of squinched over like this, if that makes sense, is to use a hoop. And I figure if, um, what's her name? Jean Lee that owns the attic. If, you know, she does amazing work on super high counts and she uses a little hoop. I think it's even smaller than this. Um, and hers looks great because I always worried about the stitches getting smushed when you put it in the hoop, but they really don't, or I can't tell. And, you know, I guess I'm just not that high tech. Like I'm not, I can't, I'm not like Vaughn. I'm, I'm not going to enter any of my stuff into any fairs or anything like that because, uh, I don't want to hear what they would say about mine. So anyway, but she asked what kind of hoop I use and I do use a hoop. This one is an Edmund hoop, E-D-M-U-N-D, -E and I already uh, answered her in the comment, but um, I also, which this is going to kind of take me into my haul, um, I went to Joann's today, so I picked up a couple of just some bigger hoops like this, and um, these are just Joann's hoops, and I have found that if, oh, sorry, the dog, um, if I wrap the inside with the twill tape, it seems to hold the tension pretty well. So those are good. And then my favorite hoops I have bought, well, this is only the second one I've ever bought. It's an Access Commodities. And this one is like a, it's kind of like a rounded rectangle. And it's Access Commodities, oops, wrong side. And there's a website here, but when I went onto it, I think that they only, um, that's for, oh, you can see the thorns in my hand. Sorry, I've been working in the yard. Um, I think that may be only for shop owners. 
um, I couldn't find where you could actually buy from them. I think these actually hold your tension better. Um, of course, they're more expensive than, say, the ones from Joann's. They're super cheap. And then the Edmunds, this is like the medium, I would say, price range. So it just kind of depends on what you um, are doing and how picky you are, I guess, about your stitches. So uh, those are my hoops. So I was just going to show those. I'm going to put them back here a little bit. That's a good place for them. And then I'll finish up. I have uh, my next whip. Like I said, this is what I stitch. Let me look at my book. I stitch for one week and a day. So eight days I stitched on Sarah Marple. And that's this one right here. And it's from uh, Northumberland Sampler House. It's so pretty. And my goal for this month is to finish this strawberry sampler. Uh, strawberry sampler. Strawberry border. Um, you can't. Let me see if I. No, you can't. You can barely see that there are strawberries on there. And that's the, um, I'm sure the ghosting or whatever some people call it. But this is so, it, my border matched up. Isn't that exciting? I was just like, I was doing a dance and my husband just doesn't understand. And I was like, I need, I wish I had someone I could call and tell them that my border matched up. So Anyway, and I've gotten the top strawberries completed, and I'm down halfway on one side. So I still have the bottom and one and a half sides. Very excited. I really want to get that finished by the end of the month. Not the whole sampler, just the border. So, and I'm stitching this one with the called for DMCs. Super, super pretty. So, that was my Northumberland house, Sarah Marple. And then the last one was my start. And this was my Mother's Day start. I've had this chart for a long time. I ordered it online from Al Forest Embroidery. Let me see. Kind of blowing it out. Okay. Al Forest Embroidery. Isn't this beautiful? So it was a download. So I got it right away, which is always nice. Um, they are from Russia or Ukraine or I'm not sure where exactly, but it's Southern land. Oh, it's so pretty. And so I did a color conversion with needlepoint silks. And these are the needlepoint silks that I picked out. And I really, really like them. So, and this one with, yeah, I said needlepoint silks. <laughs> 40 count espresso is the, and I only stitched on this for two days. And this is what, there we go. That's what I got through. This is kind of difficult. Like it's, um, I can't, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just, it's a lot of counting and I love to count. But this is something I have to be like super focused on. This style. I don't know what this style is. Um, modern folk embroidery. His patterns are this way also. Something about them. Uh, long dog sampler patterns. I guess with the negative space like something. The ne When the negative space makes a design maybe is what it is. But I really, really think this is beautiful. So that was my Mother's Day start really fun. Lots of concentration. <laughs> so, okay. So those are all my whips. And then the last thing I have is haul. And until today, well, that's not true. I had only one um, thing of haul. And so my haul is now all mixed up. So I'm just going to pull it out of the bag. I went to um, the Tinsmith's wife. Um, I've told y'all before, I get stressed. I get, you know, upset or whatever, and that's what I do. I, I just look at cross-stitch stuff, and, and I buy it. And so that's what I did today. Um, retail therapy. I was trying to think, what is that term? Retail therapy. Okay, so here is my bag of retail therapy. So this is from the Tinsmith's wife. Well, um, some of it. 
some of it I just kitted today at the Tinsmith's Life, and I'll tell you which one's which. Okay. Some of them I already had the patterns. Sorry, one fell down. Okay. So the first one is one that um, I just call and tell her, the lady at the Tinsmith's Life, um, I've lost her name. Is it Mary? Oh my. Okay, I'm going to put her name down here. I'm really horrible with names. I'm, I'm sorry if I ever meet you and then I forget your name. I remember your face. Um, Heartstring Samplery. This is one of her new releases. Uh, a plant of rapid growth. And so I text and told her, you know, these are the charts that I would like you to hold for me. And she just holds them until I like them in and pick them up. So this is one of them. And so she held that for me. And I went ahead and kitted up with the called for floss. And her dad is the one that usually rings me up. He is just a hoot. I love him. He's a sweet, sweet man. He gives me a hard time. So I got the floss. And then I got, let's see, Heartland by Picture This Plus, 40 count. And I'm pretty sure this is what, um, I think that's what it called for. Or was the called for? Mm, yep, Picture This Plus Heartland. Oh, it's pretty. And she had just enough of it. So, woohoo! Oh, sorry. I have my phone plugged in because um, I'm going to set these here so I can put them back together. I have it plugged in because I don't want it to die. I just got back. I went to Comfort to the Tinsmith's Wife, and then I went to San Antonio and got my daughter's dog groomed. And so I just got in. I'm pooped. So the next thing that I bought was, and this is another one she put to the side for me. And this is the Happy Birthday America by Brenda Gervais. And I know you've seen this. So I got three of the called for floss, the main three. She, The other she was out of. So, um, And it also came with this little uh, fabric. But um, what was I saying? Oh, she was out of the other floss. But I think I'm just going to see if I have it in my stash. And if I don't, I'm going to pull something that's close to it. Because um, it's just green and brown. So I can make that. I'm sure I can find something. So I got that. That was one of the ones that I sent her a message asking her to hold for me. This one is another one. This is Heartstring Samplery Lip. Liberty Pendrum Justice Needleberry. And I'm sure you've seen it. This is another one of her releases. A heartstring samplery. Ooh, that's something else I need to tell you. I am beside myself. I know that I told y'all that um, my mom and I were going to go to the attic this summer. Well, our plans have changed because I am a, a patron of Farm Girl. And she let us know that there was a um, retreat, I guess it is, uh, in Missouri, Lee Summit, Missouri. And Blackbird Designs, Barb and Alma are going to be there. And it was supposed to be the Scarlet House and Liz Matthews. And I can't remember who the other person is. I can't remember. But as soon as she said that, Boy, I called them and they said, oh yeah, we have a spot. So I already put my down payment down. I called my mother and I said, mom, I said, instead of going to the attic this year, I said, would you like, and she's go to Lee Summit. And she said, oh, there's a quilt shop there. I've always wanted to visit. I said, that's who's hosting the, the retreat. So my mom called and she is going also. So we're going to go in September. I'm so excited. I'm going to have to miss a couple of days of school, but I do not care. It is like a dream come true. I got to meet Teresa Vinette, and now I'm going to get to meet Barbara and Alma and Beth Twist and Liz Matthews. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't even know what to do. I, I just can't wait till September. Okay. Anyway, that's what made me think of this. So, um, like I said, most everybody has probably seen this. And this one and her other one, I think... One moment. Oh, I 
thought there was another one. Boop, 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 boop. Oh no. No, I didn't pick up the ones for this. So I'll see if I have these because I don't think it would take, it's not going to take a whole skein. So I'm sure I have something. Anyway, that one's super, super pretty. Okay. As I said, I am a patron of Farm Girl. And so she, um, Paulette Stewart, my son is coming out of his room. He doesn't know I'm filming. Uh, Paulette Stewart was the designer that was at her Midwest cross stitchers retreat. And so as a patron, she, um, one of the perks was that we could order her new charts early. So I got them early and this one is Plum Street Samplers. Always remember, I'll show you back away. I'll show you up close. Look at that. I love this. I, I just, I, I love it. And then I picked up the called for floss. I wanted to get the eucalyptus, which is the fox and rabbit. That's the um, linen for which it calls, but I cannot find eucalyptus anywhere. And I asked the owner of the Tinsmith's wife and she said that it's, she's had it ordered. It's just hard to get right now. So I did, um, I found something on 123 Stitch because I've been looking, I mean, I looked on Kitten Stitcher's website. I looked on all my Etsy, like Hollis Hand Creates and Farmer's Attic and Gin Stitching. I just looked everywhere and I cannot find the blue I want, but I found something at 123 Stitch and I may order it. I'm just going to wait and see. It's not like I'm going to start it anytime soon that I know of. So, but I just like to have things kit up. So then I also got, this is another one that I got from, and I'm sure you've seen it, uh, picked this up today also. She pulled it as soon as it was delivered. I mean, and she texts me. She'll send pictures and say, look what came in today. So um, red, white, and bloom. And then I got the other one from her also. Did I already show that one? Hold on. Did I already show the other one? Oh, yeah, I did. I already showed the other one. So, um, these flosses are also called for in this. And again, she didn't have the others, other than the DMC, but I can pull that from my stash. The Other than these three, then I'm just going to pull something that looks like it matches, hopefully. Okay, then the next thing I bought was a GGR pattern. Love GGR. And one day I would like to own all of GGR's patterns. And this one, this blue gets me. Isn't that wonderful? And I personally, uh, Nicola talked about this on one of her videos, how most of the time I feel like she likes to chart from the colors in the back of the sampler, but what draws me to them are the colors on the front. And I love when the color has faded from the floss, which is what has happened here. And so, um, I did buy all of the called for gentle arts. I did substitute, I think it called for oatmeal or something. And I substituted it for linen. I think I did two substitutions. I haven't written them down yet. So, but you can tell that the, these colors are going to match the front, which I am so excited about because that's my favorite. So GGR. And then I bought 40 count Newcastle earthen, it says. And this is the color that it's going to go on. Oh, I'm so excited. It's hard to tell with my lighting right now. That's okay. I think it looks great. Okay. So there's that one. Then this one is a chart that I already owned and I just took it and needed to buy the linen and the floss. I didn't need to buy the linen. I wanted to buy the linen and the floss. So Barbara Anna designs. Oh, isn't that cute? This one's called Oh Christmas tree. I love these people. Look at them. I love this little bird right here. Isn't he sweet? And there's one up here too. Oh, anyway. Okay. So, uh, I think it actually calls for 
raw linen. Um, so I got some 46 count Bergen raw natural. This is what I got. Bergen raw natural. And it's just raw linen color. And it was called for DMC. And then it called for these DMCs that says color variations, which I'm assuming means that they are variegated. So it called for three DMCs, and then it called for three of the variegated DMCs. Wow, that light is just not helping at all. So I got that. Oh, well, I kitted that. I already had that pattern. Then I had her order this for me. This is Patriotic Rose. I love this eagle. That eagle is just lovely, 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 lovely. And I'm hoping I have a floss here to kit this up, but we'll see. Then the next one was a fox and rabbit. Oh, it's stuck. Hold on. Fox and rabbit. And I think I've shown this before. I already owned this. Mahala Barber. That's me guessing. And so I picked up the DMC at Hobby Lobby. But I got a 40 count Picture This Plus Ale. Which is what it calls for. Well, it calls for 36 count. But it's, you know, just... Mm, mm, mm. Yep, that's better. So I got that to finish kitting up Fox and Rabbit. Oh, and then this one. Again, I already owned this chart. I think I've shown it before. A Quaker study from Carriage House Sampling. This linen is gorgeous. And it's vintage autumn gold. I could not find that, but she had a brash. Picture this plus brash. And it's 40 cap. Ooh, no, it doesn't look like that. That's ugly. <laughs> that looks very green. Very, there. that's better. And so, and then it calls for two needlepoint silks. Ooh, isn't that pretty? I may have to start this one. This one really calls to me. Something about it. I'm not quite sure. Most people are probably like, ooh. I am excited about that one. Okay. Then the next one, this one was another one that we got to purchase early, and this is the Equality Sampler. Oh. She said something about this on her floss tube one time. These, It's like named after a state. It's like a something sampler. Is it a New Hampshire sampler or a Vermont sampler? I can't remember. But she mentioned something about, you know, how there's like these when she does the border all the way around and then it has these rows that are different she named it and i can't remember what she called it's been a long time so kitted it all up i got the dmc when i was at hobby lobby the other day and then i got the overdyes today and then i got a piece of parchment linen and then this is big enough there we go this is big enough for that sampler, 40 count, yes, and Long May She Wave, which I've shown before on here, and I picked these up at Hobby Lobby, so it looks like a lot more haul than it is because I already owned some of it and already had some of the flosses. This is another um, chart that I picked up early from Paulette Stewart, and it's called Flag flock and sheep keep. I love this because we have a dog who, um, who watches over our cattle. Irritates me. It's my son's dog. She's a great Pyrenees. She's great for her job. <clears throat> but right now, because it's been, um, the, trying to let the, the grass and the stuff in the fields grow back, cows have all been moved so there's nothing for her to do there's no one for her to protect because she runs the coyotes off my husband it's his favorite thing when um coyotes come out into the field she chases them and he loves to watch her because she's gonna catch one one day 
But um, anyway, we don't have sheep. We have cattle. But anyway, but these dogs, I uh, need to change it to like a white one or something. So I thought this one was really pretty. I did not kit it up, but I did get this one in the mail. So the Plum Street I got directly from Paulette Stewart. And look, I have to show you something. When she mailed it to me, I kept the mailer because I'm going to make a journal out of it because it came from Paulette Stewart. And look. She wrote, whoop, there, she wrote, thank you, with a smiley face. It's going to go in my journal. I know, I'm weird, but it's okay. Okay, so last one I bought today is a Reflet de Soie, which is another, I would love to own all of these also. This one is an older one. I can always tell because it comes in this little thing like this. It's from 2014. Isn't that crazy? That was seven years ago. I wasn't even stitching then. I'm very excited. Look at this. I would have loved to have kept this up, but of course, you know, a Veriswall, you know, a list this long. I, uh, I'll just buy one, you know, or two a month, like I did my other ones. And that's the end of my haul, I think. So, uh, let's see. So this week I have graduation on Friday. We are going to go to state tennis to, we have a little boy who got second at region, so he advanced to state, so we're going to go there. My son's partner, she's such a sweet girl. What happens is we substitute someone in for my son and he'll play in his place. It's going to break my heart, but we're going to take my son. The doctor said it was okay. Just got to keep his knee stable. Nothing, so don't be acting silly. So, um... He's going to get to go watch that, and then he that'll be, we leave Wednesday, and so state is Thursday and Friday, then we come home Friday, and he graduates Saturday, and we have family coming in, so my oldest son, who's 30, is going to, uh, he's very good at grilling and barbecue. One day he'd like to have his own place, like barbecue place, and um, he's going to barbecue, or not, no, grill, he's going to grill steaks. And my son requested steamed broccoli and mashed potatoes. That's what he wants to go with it. So that's what I'll make him. And he wants my mom to make him a carrot cake with no pecans. <laughs> like, how can you be from Texas and not eat pecans? That's like, you know, we got a bunch of pecan trees out in our yard, but that's fine. Uh, and then the next week I get to meet with my one of my subscribers. And I'm very excited about that. And then his surgery will be on the 27th. And so that's my next couple of weeks. I will be doing a journal tutorial on June. I just got a text. I can see it when it comes by from my daughter saying that um, she's not coming home tonight. She's going to go ahead and stay with friends in Concan, And uh, that's fine. And um, other than that, so I may do a video tonight. That's where I was going with that. I'm like, where were you going with that, Jennifer? So I'll have time tonight because she won't come home. And this is where I do my tutorials. So, and I'm, I have to apologize. I have it. Oh, it's not in here. The journal that I did the tutorial on, the journal to do the Margaret Miller prompts. I probably will film that one tonight because I still have a couple weeks before June. Um, with everything going on, I just haven't had a chance to to film that tutorial I'm very sorry but I'll do it tonight so I'm going to try to get this one started uploading because I have to watch it all the way through put in like the names and stuff I said I would put in and then uh, once I have it uploading I can go ahead and record the next one so I think that's it I tell myself every time to make notes so you don't forget to talk about something because I, I know I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to be like Jennifer why didn't you say that so it's fine. It is what it is. So, all right. Well, until next time, Floss 2, uh, be kind to each other. Bye.